Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going to talk about targeting daytime flathead catfish. Ah, I think he is there. There's a smaller fish. Or that fish don't know he's hooked. It was a weird hit. Almost like it pulled it off of something. It's all right. We'll take it. Crisp spring morning. Out here anchored up on a point, trying to catch some catfish. That looked like a dolphin out there. There's a big blue came across the top. That <laughs> is a heck of a start. Listen, there's no such thing as a bad flathead. I don't care how big, how big they are. Look at that little feller. Oh, 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 that's the future. That is the future. I love it. Look at that mouth. That's a fish eating machine right there, buddy. He liked that piece of cut bait on the bottom, that's for sure. It's the future of our fishery right there, folks. I wish we had more of them. I know the biologists just don't want to hear that, but I love catching them. So I'm gonna put him back so he can grow. So yeah, I'm anchored up out here on a point this morning, a crisp spring morning. Trees are blooming, leaves are out, you know, azaleas have blossomed. It's a little cool, not as cool as it has been, but these fish are moving up shallow. So there goes, oh, one just hit that rod behind me. These fish are moving up in shallower water. I'm, these points are main lake points, uh, you know, these secondary points and creeks, they're the place to be right now. Uh, crappie are moving shallow, everything's moving up, and uh, it's a good time to be fishing these type waters. So that's what we're doing. We got nothing but cut bait out uh, scattered around our boat, around the boat. I've got bluegill and I've got some white perch that I caught out of here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, baits for your area and where you're fishing, but let's see if we can stick a couple before we have to move. I just cast that back out and there's something already walking off with it. I don't know if I got a turtle or what doing this, but I'm getting ready to set the hook on it. I hooked him that time. Dude, that was three times I reeled down on that fish. I'll be shocked if it ain't a flathead. <laughs> it ain't a big one, but it was just such a walk off with the bait kind of bite. Yes, sir, it is a flathead. I can lift him in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you what, these ain't no giant ones, but I don't care. It's a flathead, any flathead catfish that you catch is a good flathead. I swear he ain't the same one. At least I don't think he is. <laughs> we have to look at the dot pattern. It's one thing about these fish, you can almost pattern them or, or identify them by their pattern. One thing about a flathead is the fins on these things, not very sharp. A lot of catfish can fin you. These really can't unless they're really young. Their fins are very dull. The other thing is they don't have a lot of bite power. Uh, my thumb gets tore up from blue catfish all the time, but these don't really bite down really, really hard. They don't have that crushing power. What they do have is a massive mouth. And that big old massive mouth can eat some fish. It's almost as big as they are. So, beautiful fish. I love catching them. Back alive. So one other tip for daytime flatheads, and this especially applies to you bank fishermen. A lot of times you'll hear me say, don't throw past your fish in the springtime. Well, I do believe that catching flatheads in daylight hours, uh, they're gonna tend to be deeper. I don't think you're gonna catch as many running the banks, especially up into the day. Early and you know, right when the sun's going down, maybe a little more likely. But I do think you might have to hit a little deeper water so, and that can be tough for you guys bank fishing because, well, really, you don't know what's out there. It's hard to tell, you know, what are, you know, if you got rock piles, if you got any structure out there. Some places you can, but a lot of places you can. A lot of places that they put these public access areas are pretty much gently sloping flat, so it can be kind of tough for you guys. But yeah, daylight is a little different animal. I think deeper water works better. Uh, during the day. Nighttime, totally different game. I'm putting stuff right up on the bank. Those fish are cruising. That's my kind of, a few of my tips for daylight fishing for flatheads. It's, uh, you know, sometimes it's the only time you can go, but uh, you know, if, if you out during the day, you can catch them. I've caught a lot of fish, a lot of flatheads during the day. I think my personal best came 
pretty much in the middle of the day. But hey, listen, if, if your only time to fish is at night, don't worry, they're out there at night too. It's probably one of the more popular times to fish for them. And probably you bank fishermen have a little better chance fishing for them at night. Either way, get out and fish when you can. Go catch some fish. I don't know if there's something on this one or not. Yep, something's pulling on it. This could be a flathead. Ah, it swam off with it and dropped it and let it go. It's a weird bite, finicky bite. Flatheads are notorious for picking it up, swim a little bit with it, swim a little bit with it. Don't know if it's a flathead. But he bit like one. Let's see what we got here. Yes, sir. Another flatty. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. I have found... That was a cut bait right there. A little brim head. I have found the mother load of little flatheads. <laughs> I'll take them. I don't know where the big boys are. But the little ones is in here. There probably ain't no big ones around. That's probably why they're hanging out here as much as they are. It's another one. Daylight middle of the day catching these things it's uh not exactly the best time generally speaking you need to be targeting some deeper water for these fish once the sun gets up and it gets light so having some deeper structure will pay off on getting these fish that's a nice one there good fish man i hope he grows up to be a giant i love these fish people ask me if i eat them no i just give them a kiss and let them go when it comes to targeting the fish, you know, I, I do think you're better off finding some type of structure, some type of change in the bottom. That can be man-made, bridge piling, a brush pile, a pier, or something that is natural. Uh, you know, uh, whether it be rock piles or, you know, steep drop-offs, bluffs, depending on where you're fishing out in the country. I think you're better off targeting those areas than you are open water. We catch a lot of blues in open water, open flats, where there's really not a lot of stuff around. And you can catch flatheads there too, okay? But if you're truly targeting them and that's what you're after and you're trying to catch one of those fish, I think you're better off working around that stuff that's out there, some type of structure. That's where it greatly ups your odds that you're gonna catch one of them. You'll catch blues there too. You'll catch channel catfish there too, but you'll catch a lot more flatheads in those areas than you will uh, in open water flats where there's really not anything around. And in this next video, it's a clip from a couple of months ago, well, a month, about a month ago when I was out fishing. I was targeting flatheads that day, right when the temperatures had started to warm up. And that's what I was working on here. Not a tremendously good bite that day, but I was able to hook into a good flathead and put it in the boat. Is he gonna eat it? Is he gonna eat it? Drags loose, drags loose. <sighs> Hooked up. Hooked into him. I saw him swimming off with it. Had some current out here, but it's died. And it's just a beautiful spring day. Clear water. We're starting to pick up some wind. We got a front coming in tonight, end of tomorrow. It's going to be pretty windy tomorrow, so. I had to get out here and burn through some baits. Typical spring weather. Good one day, bad the next. Just when you think it's getting ready to warm up, you get a cold snap. We've got a freeze warning uh, tonight. Gonna be down freezing temperatures tomorrow. Water creeps up a few degrees and then dives back down. That's springtime, man. That is springtime. That's what makes it fun. Look at that rod bend. Old Hellcat, medium action. Getting some pull. Nicely well, fish. It is a flathead. We got us a flatty. In the net. Everybody loves flatheads. Even when they're not giants, I love them. It's a good one. Pretty fish. You just never know with the color on an old flathead. Good 
good looking fish. Love that old mouth on them, man. Gotta love it. It's good fish. Pretty. Let's get him back alive. All right, so the question always comes up with flatheads, uh, whether you're fishing for them during the day or night is bait. Uh, what's the bait to go with? And, uh, you know, I'm using cut bait today. Uh, you know, you obviously a lot of people like using live bait. Uh, you know, I, you know, you watch my videos, you see me use chicken. I really don't use chicken targeting flatheads. Uh, we've caught them on chicken. Uh, we will catch more of them on chicken. I don't really target them uh, using chicken. I, you know, I think they're feeding on fish. They're feeding on live stuff. So, uh, you know, I think anything from your body of water will work. To be perfect, honest, whether that be... Uh, you know, if you can use game fish where you fish, I think they're great baits. Uh, most places you can't. You know, obviously your shad, gizzard shad, uh, your bigger shad, you know, the, the gizzard shad, thread fin, not so much. Uh, you know, skipjack, if you have those there. And, you know, really anything that swims in there. Bluegill, excellent. That's what we're using today. We've got bluegill out here. And uh, they love these things. A lot of times at night, that's why they're cruising the bank. They're trying to pick off these bluegill. Crappie, if you can use them another great bait for flatheads but you know we're up in the odds of getting picked up here today we're using uh you know we're using cut bait uh, it's ironic we've got out live baits today and the fish that we catch it, it is a blue cat uh, that actually hits the live bait so uh, you know i just think scent dispersion is better and you know hey you're going to catch some other fish and uh you know if you've got blue cats in your area they're going to hit on that cut bait too we've had some nice blues that we've caught while we're waiting for a flathead so uh you know my preference is go with the cut bait <laughs>